Hello, I'm Melissa Wu. Today I'm at Queen Elizabeth Park on this beautiful spring Monday. Have you ever been to this park? This is my favorite park and one of the first parks I've been to when we landed to Canada in Vancouver in 1984. So look at this beautiful scenery. You can definitely see the mountains, water view of the Burrard Inlet, and a lot of city view as well. You can see the downtown skyline. And of course, we have the Greenhouse Conservatory, and there is a restaurant. It's a beautiful park. Come and have a look. When you come to the park, the first thing to do is actually pay for parking because you don't want to get a ticket. So download the app, pay by phone, and pay for your parking. Or you can park at the Seasons restaurant, they have valet. So make sure to pay for your parking and enjoy the beautiful park. So the park actually is just west of Canby, and there's also a community center down the hill, and that's the Hillcrest Community Center. When you live on Main Corridor or Canby Corridor, or close to Oak Ridge or King Edward, this is a park where you can come and enjoy the beautiful flowers all year round. Come on and take a look at the spring flowers. So there's a map here if you want to know where things are. It is a bigger park with lots of flowers. Look behind you, we have all the beautiful flower bed of daffodils. Just gorgeous. And over here, there is a photo point. Let's go and take a look. Meet my friends, Harry, Mary, and John. And I also want to introduce you to my photographer of the day, Gary. So at this photo pocket point, you have all these arrows. The, that way is Mount Baker. And of course, you can see the beautiful Seasons restaurant, Patio. It's beautiful. I love having a meal there. And there's Golden Years that way. And Mount Seymour, Grouse Mountain, and the Quarry Park. My cousin actually got married here. And the lions, oh my gosh, I was just up at the lions, the Twin Peaks, that's the lions. And next to it, there was the Brunswick. It's a great hike for the summer. Would you want to hike this summer? Hello, so I am here. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth Park used to be a volcano? Of course, it's not active anymore. But look at the shape and the landscaping. It does look like a volcano, doesn't it? Have a look. Now it's full of beautiful flowers. And I just love this beautiful wooden bridge. It's like a Japanese garden with Japanese maple. It's beautiful. And look at the low, lots of flower beds. I love this park, absolutely gorgeous in the spring and summer. And there's lots of flower beds and you can bring some picnics and enjoy with your whole family here. There's some, you know, it would be a really nice walk in the summer and just have a blanket, enjoy some sandwiches. And there's also another Love Lock statue. Have you seen that? Look at these beautiful spring daffodils and tulips, this gorgeous Japanese maple. I love it. And it's free. So take your family here today. Enjoy a lovely picnic under the cherry blossom. Hi Brayden, my name is Melissa. So we are here, uh, very interested in how the park maintains the beautiful flower beds. Uh, yeah, you do uh, early weeding in spring and put down heavy mulch, a uh, couple inches would be you know, more than enough and then it suppresses the weeds enough to get, let you catch up. And then you do another few times throughout the summer, but other than that, mulch is a good thing. Oh, where, do, where would you get this? Uh, what? Sorry, what kind of mulch is this? Composted bark mulch. Composted bark mulch. So like it's composed mostly of, you know, old uh, chippings from trees and then it's left to uh, ferment and change into sort of arable Nice. And we just, you just uh, put this on all the flower beds? Yeah, uh, put it down onto the flower beds. You can put it right on top of things. Like right now you can see the daffodils are up. If you lay it on top of those, they'll often flop, flop back up. But uh, they're almost at the end of their show as well. 
end of their show. <laughs> so what happens to the daffodils after? Do you remove the bulbs? Uh, we typically don't. Sometimes we do. Depends on what we want to do next with the plant. I love this beautiful park and thank you for all your hard work. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Wow, look at these gorgeous daffodils. They're different breeds, right? Amazing, so lovely. And we have a hardworking gardener. Did you know Queen Elizabeth Park has these four lovely sculptures for love locks? These are the first four statues where you can put a love lock with your loved ones here. And it's called Love in the Rain. Take a look. They all have umbrellas. Loving the rain in Vancouver! Look at these, they're actually holding and kissing. Look at all this beautiful four statues. Do you have someone you want to lock their love in? Do you have someone special you want to take on a special date? A unique experience? Come to the park. There's a lot of secret benches where you can have a nice date. Come here! Imagine bringing your special someone, have a seat at this romantic park bench and discuss your love or propose your love. What do you think? Do you like to garden at home? Come to Queen Elizabeth Park. You will definitely be inspired by these beautiful flower beds and do some gardening at home this spring and summer season. Never done this before, but if you shake the bread, you're supposed to taste something mm -hmm. like Andre said. So I'm here at the famous iconic waterfall. I think the water has just been shut off from the pandemic, but you can see there is the Japanese wooden bridge, and there used to be a waterfall flowing here into a lily pond. I absolutely love spring. Look at these gorgeous, huge plants that have flowers. I don't know what they're called. Are they a tree or a flower? But they are huge. I love spring. Absolutely gorgeous at Queen Elizabeth Park. You can see we have lots of daffodils, tulips, and all the flower beds are just planted. Come and enjoy it this spring. At the lower level of the park where it used to be the volcano crater, you can see many, many flowers and plants and also we have bamboo.